guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So today we're going to go ahead and take a look at some video game pickups that I found within the last month. So a lot of these I actually picked up at flea markets, yard sales, retro video game stores near me, and GameStop. So let's see what I found. So first we have this PlayStation box right here. Now this is the original PlayStation and it's in fairly good shape. Anytime that I see boxes, I like to add them to my collection to go ahead and complete consoles that I already have. And I like to display these boxes. So I couldn't pass up this box right here. It even has the original Kmart sticker on it that says $129.99. So this is going to go great in my collection and I'm really excited to find one of these in very good shape. And then along that same note, I found this bag right here. Now this actually holds the PlayStation, the original one, and I found this at a yard sale and I was really excited to grab it for $5. It came with this PlayStation CD case. So you can put your games in here, you can take the system in here. And it's pretty cool to find these in pretty decent shape. So as you can see, it has enough space for the console in there. You can go ahead and put the controller in here and all the wires that you would need if you're going to go ahead and carry this around. And you have this for the games. And it has this little handle to make it easier to carry. So next we have this PlayStation 1 controller. This one is red. Now usually I see the gray and white ones around. I don't see these red ones often. So I had to go ahead and pick this one up. And then I got this pretty sweet controller right here. So I actually got this from my buddy in Ohio. He had it in his store and I figured I would add it to my collection. I did a little bit of research on this controller. So right here it's the Logic 3 controller for the PlayStation and has this little knob on it that spins and it has all of these buttons with the D-pad right here the start button and some other ones and then it has two little triggers right here on this controller kind of looks like a racing controller like a little RC car so I'm pretty excited to try this out with some games and we'll have to see exactly how it works and then also I found these two sealed PC games now here we have Remington Super Slam Hunting Africa, it says 1-4 players. And then here we have this Jagged Alliance Crossfire. Now I found these when I got this bag right here at the yard sale. So I had to add everything together. Then on to some other items here. We have this Xbox controller for the original Xbox. This one's a lot larger than the standard Xbox controller. And it's pretty neat looking with this little emblem right here. So I figured I would add the original to my collection before I went ahead and picked up the new released Duke controller. And then on to some Nintendo products. We have this GameCube controller right here. You see that it has Superman on here, Batman, Wonder Woman. So it has the Justice League on it. Now this is one of the superhero releases for the GameCube controllers. I also have a Spider-Man one as well. So this will look great with that. And 
And then I picked up this Atomic Purple Game Boy Color. The neat thing about this is that it's in beautiful condition. The screen does not have any scratches on it. And the back right here has all of the original stickers on it. And they are not peeling off, they're not discolored, they're not ripping up. So I'm really excited to add this to my collection to go ahead and help complete my Game Boy Color collection. And it even came with this big black bass game for the Game Boy. And then along with that Game Boy Color, I have this Pokemon carrying bag. It says Gotta Catch Them All. It has Blastoise on here with Meowth and Pikachu. It says Pokemon. So you can go ahead and put the system right in here. And it's an easy little carrying tote bag for it. You can go ahead and put some games in here too. Just put them right in there. Put some of the cords and the accessories with the Game Boy Color. Just add them right to this. So I thought this carrying case was pretty sweet. And just an added bonus to getting this Game Boy Color. And then I picked up some pretty sweet Nintendo games here. So this one I've been searching for for a very long time. I was finally able to add this Bucky O'Hare Nintendo game to my collection. I didn't pay an arm and a leg for it and it's in very good shape. The label is not all ripped up, it's not discolored, the front is not sun faded, the top looks great. And the neat thing about this is that it had this original sticker on it. It says, be kind, please rewind. Now I thought that was pretty odd for a Nintendo game. Because obviously you don't rewind these games. And they do not have saves on them. So I thought this was pretty interesting. That one of those old rental stores ended up putting this sticker on it. So that's a part of history. And it's pretty cool that I'm able to add this game to my collection. I've really been looking forward to playing it and I'm excited now. Then I found this, The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Now this is a pretty cheap common game. I've also been interested in trying this one out. So we'll have to see exactly how this game plays. Then I found this Flying Warriors game. I thought the label looked pretty cool on it. It's in very good shape. It's still all white. It does not have any yellowing on it as well. So we'll have to try this out. Then I found this Robo Warrior game. I also got this Daydream and Davy game for the Nintendo. And this one right here, this is Punch-Out. Now before I've shown Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, so this one is just Punch-Out, it does not have Mike Tyson in it. So we'll have to see exactly how different this is. And then this one looked like a really sweet game. Right here it's called Strider by Capcom. And then this Super Pitfall. I loved Pitfall. For the Atari and the older games so I'll have to go ahead and see how this one plays and then this wampum game I've heard that this was a great game so I'm excited to add it to my collection and then a couple Genesis games so a lot of these Nintendo games and Genesis games I actually used some trading credit that I had at one of my local video game stores. I just ended up trading in some of my doubles of games and I was able to get these for next to nothing. So here we have this awesome possum. This is for the Sega Genesis. It says kicks Dr. Machino's butt. I'm gonna clean up this world yet. So this looked a little interesting. Figured I'd give it a try and on the back here I found this pretty sweet. It says 
with more than 80 different audio phrases, Awesome Possum is the first Genesis cartoon character who really talks. And he's got a lot to say. So I thought that was pretty interesting for the history of video games. So I'll have to try this game out and see how it goes. And then right here, I'm really excited to add this one to my collection. This is Contra Hardcore. And this is the Contra game on the Sega Genesis. Now I own most of the Contra games on the Nintendo and Super Nintendo. So I'm really excited to have this Genesis version. And I've heard this game is pretty sweet. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty difficult. So I'm really excited to try this one out and add it to my collection. And now on to some promo items. So I actually found a lot of these at GameStop. So first we have right here these little stickers, these Fallout stickers. So they were just sitting at my local GameStop and they ended up giving them to me because they didn't have any other need for them. And then these things are pretty sweet. These are Crash Bandicoot collectible microblocks figurines. And I thought this was pretty cool. They have 275 pieces and you go ahead and build Crash Bandicoot. So I'll have to go ahead and put these together and build this and see exactly how it looks. It's a pretty fun little puzzle. And they ended up giving me three. So if you guys stay tuned, once I hit a certain number of subscribers, I'm gonna go ahead and gather up some extras that I have and put them together for a giveaway. So this will be a part of one of my giveaways. And then they ended up giving me a Spyro one as well. This one only has 212 pieces and this one looks pretty sweet. So they only had one of those. And then right here we have this box. It says do not display until 427 2018. So this was just sitting in the back of my local GameStop. So right here this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider, available September 14th, 2018. Now I'm really excited for this game. I love all of the Tomb Raider games and I'm excited to add this promo item to my collection. So as you see here, this is a large display box and then right here it has what it's released for, the PC, PS4, Xbox One, and right here, experience Lara Croft's defining moment as she becomes the Tomb Raider, available on all platforms, September 14th, 2018. And only at GameStop, you can get this exclusive flashlight, and it has Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And inside, there are plenty of other items. So here we also have this little display box. You just go ahead and put that together and it turns into a cube. It also says Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So that's also pretty neat to add. And then it has a couple of these large posters in it. So once again, because I got multiples, I'm gonna go ahead and add these to a giveaway that I will be doing shortly. So it came with three of them. And then it even came with these little columns right here with these pretty sweet looking designs. Now they aren't complete. There's a little slit right here on top where a 
sword actually sticks out of so I'll have to see if I can find an extra sword to go ahead and add to both of these columns to help with the display promo item for this game coming up. And then last, I found this pretty sweet promo item right here. This is for all the Mortal Kombat lovers and I'm really excited to add this to my collection. As I've mentioned before, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan and I'm really excited that now I can add this large cardboard display somewhere in my game room. So thank you guys for watching, make sure you like and subscribe, and go ahead and check out my other videos.